Well, Coach, let's talk about how the showcase and that last and that game that you played zero in on the performance that you had in beating Stockton, and what stands out in the way you played in the fourth quarter to to get that game in the win column. Well, it's what we kind of been preaching, just playing the whole 48 minutes. And I think that's what we did that game. That's why we was able to come away with the win. Um, but just trying to take some of those things in Vegas. And even the second game that we played, we competed. We were in the game. A lot of it, we kind of ran out of gas towards the end. But, you know, our focus has been playing 48 minutes. So we feel like whenever we do that, we're able to get wins. When you talk about the showcase itself, it was an excellent opportunity for players to be seen, and a lot of them were called up because of the health and safety protocols. What does it mean to really have that really strong pipeline between the NBA and G League and, and have that come into focus such in you know an abrupt manner? I mean, it's been a good thing uh, for the league just to have guys in this league be able to play at that level. You know, I think that's what this league is about. So to be able to show guys that could play at an elite level and produce that out here, just not with our team, but other teams as well, uh, something that the NBA could actually benefit from. So I think they're doing a great job using that. And um, it's great for our players. You know, they get the opportunity, if they play well, to be able to play at that level. So it's a win-win situation. There are some challenges along with that, too, because with player movement, you have to try to move around on a roster and, and fill in when you have guys called up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's part of the struggle. You know, I think uh, not just our team's dealing with it, the league's dealing with it, the NBA's dealing with it, uh, other sports. So it's not just here in Sioux Falls, you know, so it's, it's everybody dealing with it and it's how you deal with it the best, you know, and I think for us just having a good structure, uh, having good principles, so that way when guys are coming in and out, you know, we kind of have that good base and, you know, we'll start from that. Well, specifically, you had Micah Potter and Brandon Knight get called up to the NBA and Brandon making an immediate impact with the, the Dallas Mavericks and, and Brandon doing so in, in his own way with the Pistons. Um, how does that affect this team and how does it make the Sky Force look as far as what has transpired and, and how it is and how it's really benefited. Well, hopefully it motivates the players just to show that, you know, they could be the next guy up. Uh, Brandon and, and Micah, that's what they've been working here. That's what they actually came for this league for, to get that chance. So to see them get called up, you know, it puts us in a, in, in a hard position as a team. But, you know, we're joyful that those guys are living their dreams and Brandon's able to, you know, get call, that call again and be able to play in the NBA. Is, I think it's a goal of his that he's always was selfless with. So to see it happen to somebody like a player like him is just great. Now you have a new start of the season. And explain just a little bit what it means to have a first portion of the season where it's dedicated to the showcase. And now we start fresh with the championship portion of the season. Right. Uh, you know, to our favor, we get to start all over and we don't have to carry that record that we had in the first portion. And, uh, you know, we look to take advantage of that moving on to the new year. And the first part of it was more about showcasing and, and you know, seeing what the what the guys could do. And the second part is kind of the longer part of the season. So, you know, we're just fortunate that we're able to start over and, and get a fresh start at this. Zero in on the Iowa Wolves tonight. Where are the things that you need to be able to defend them adequately they're really good in transition getting out so just stopping the ball and just you know actually talking and, and loading up to the ball is going to be important in this game they get a lot of points out in transition they got great guards McKinley Wright's a heck of a guard as well as Miller Isaiah Briscoe so you know they they create problems we played them before we know some of the problems they create and we look forward to uh, taking that challenge. And then as far as attacking them, where can you be most effective? We just want to move the ball. We want to get good spacing, uh, but we don't want to have it like an isolation game. We want to get the ball moving to side to side to kind of force their defense to uh, have to play defense for longer possessions and not just shoot one, one pass shots right away. Thanks, Coach. Good luck.